Hey guys, so today I want to talk about th this particular channel. Uh, we hit 10,000 subscribers, which is fantastic, and there's a contest that's going to end soon. But um, we will head in a new direction, in a new positive direction. And the reason I want to make this particular video was because I really want to advance this channel past what it currently is and currently it's me just ranting about topics I feel ranting about and the videos are longer uh, actually we have a video this week that's 15 minutes or 14 minutes I don't know what editing is going to do but it's around 14 to 15 minutes I believe our least longest video might be this particular video but the rest of the videos are 8 minutes or 9 minutes they are a lot longer and the reason I'm going to make longer videos instead of more videos is I have seen that work for channels like mine and there's so many great channels out there I can uh, Tolarian Academy, Manosaurus, uh, Dariums, uh, HQ um, and there's a lot of channels out there who are growing, Rogue Deck Builder who have longer videos and it's instead of having a lot of videos like a lot of tiny videos they have just one big video and that's going to be the biggest change that I'm going to make to this channel it's going to be a huge change because we're talking about 10 plus minute videos now and we're talking about one video a day in addition to whatever the news is coming so whenever the news is coming I'll still use my Yeti uh, which you can't see here but I'll still use my Yeti to uh, record the news uh, primarily I wanted to make this change because I felt like you guys deserved a better channel and it didn't hit me until like today when we hit 10,000. So first of all, I am so happy to be, you know, have 10,000 subscribers. That's like crazy to me, especially in the MTG niche market, especially and especially since so many people initially in the beginning believed that I wouldn't still be here. Uh, there was many reasons. Uh, mental illness was the main concern, I guess, and as well as being a plague and all of this stuff and being unwatchable. Uh, Three million views later, and ten thousand subscribers later, we are still here. We are uh, doing very well. Um, our, we get about ten thousand, fifteen thousand views a day, uh, and I think we're at three point one million views right now, totally across the channel. That being said, I have to focus less on views and more on you guys and producing the best content I can uh, possible. And that means longer videos. And that means I'm actually going to do my homework on the videos. So the videos for this week were MTG Finance, which I did my homework on these cards. Uh, how much do you pay a pack? Um, I'm going to have to retitle that. That's a terrible title. Uh, the increase in pricing of booster packs and then how much I buy a box for a fat pack. I know a lot of you guys asked me that question and it's different if you're in Australia and Great Britain. I felt like it would be a good discussion to have in the comment section. Um, how to build a magic collection. That was a 15 minute video and I might edit it down a little bit. Uh, 15 minute video about how to build a magic collection, right? And how it has changed in the beginning, you know, you did this, you did X, then you did Y, now you do Z, and how I would build a collection if I was just starting. Um, as well as, uh, yeah, this video is really for me, this video will probably be posted Sundays. Sundays are not a typical, I mean, Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays are very good days for videos, so I'll put the more, you know, deck techie, the, the videos you guys want to see on those days, and then Friday, Saturday, Sundays, I'll kind of save it for this type of discussion. So uh, biggest change is going to be the increase in length of videos and the decrease at least um, from two a day to one a day in this type of video. But you know, if there's a contest going on and there's a fat pack competition that will still run its course separately. And then if there's like news about this deck or you know this card, then obviously you know, I'm going to. Um, use the microphone and produce that content as soon as it comes out. And the other issue, the other change is I'm going to try to do a better job of my thumbnails. I don't know if you have noticed this, but the thumbnails are just randomly selected pictures of me right now. So there's not, it's 
degraded somewhat, but a lot of you would say, oh, no, that's actually better than the anime pictures that you normally post. Yes and no, right? Um, at least in the anime pictures, a lot of times they have, like, a description of what the video is about. Now the video is just a picture of me, and it's the same picture for the entire week with the same, you know, t-shirt, because I, I film all in one week. And I feel like that's, you know, I should try a little bit better in that aspect for the thumbnails. Uh, the second aspect of, or the last thing I want to talk about is I'm going to do more giveaways on Facebook. And the giveaways are not going to be like tremendously valuable stuff. Um, they'll just be like signed Inuyasha cards, signed Weiss cards, um, signed maybe playmats. I have a ton of playmats. I just kind of want to get rid of them. <laughs> and I, I figured that, you know, I have all this extra magic stuff. I could give away on this channel, which uh, I obviously we have, we just have consistent giveaways and we'll never have a period of time where there won't be a giveaway like sometime within that week. Uh, when one ends, the next one begins. But I wanted to build up my Facebook a little bit and primarily because I, there's so many great interactions with you guys that I have on Facebook and I really do appreciate everyone who uh, is part of that particular community because it, it's a way for me to discuss with you um, just stuff, right? And it's, I mean, people can say in the comment sections, but honestly, that's great. That's for you guys. That's for you to talk with one another. Um, a lot of times I look at the comments and it's like really strange. Like I don't even want to get into it because it's I no idea what's happening. But uh, I wanted to have a place to discuss and I tried Instagram. I tried all of these other various Twitter and all that stuff. Uh, but Facebook, I believe Facebook community is a lot better um, to just have and get feedback from you guys. What do you guys want me to give away for the next contest? What do you guys want me to give away on Facebook? What do you guys want me to make videos? What are your favorite deck tags? What format do you want? Uh, what cards do you want me to talk about MTG Finance about? And it's a good way for me to get feedback because at the end of the day, this channel has evolved into just more than, more than me. And when I mean that, I mean that in a very positive way. We are no longer a... I guess the best way I can say it is at this particular moment, I've realized that people are magic players, especially younger magic players, are take, watching this channel. They are some people who watch the channel probably every day, and they get information and they enjoy watching the channel. And they and that's never really I as strange as this is going to sound, it's never really hit me that there's so many of you watching my videos and that it might impact how you tra treat a person, how you trade with a person, how you, uh, whether or not you go to Friday Night Magic, why, whether or not you go to pre-release, um, whether or not you talk to the guy next to you, whether or not you offer a handshake, and all this stuff is community building. Um, and I want to do the best job um, building community. And the whole counterfeit issue, like, I get PMs on my Facebook all the time and maybe I'll do a video about it, deleting the names, about, hey, I, you helped me identify this card was fake. Thank goodness it's a Bayou from the store, but I'm not going to mention the name of the store, uh, but I really appreciate you taking the time to do it. So when you have all of these, uh, when you have a channel like this and you have a medium to positively impact the magic community, I think you should. I think that there's a lot of good I can do with this channel and as it's no ego I'm not going to completely table my ego on this one but I have to change the way the channel is operated for the maximal amount of good that I can do for the community we can no longer make one minute videos where I just rant about MTG Finance being terrible because a lot of you are interested in that I can no longer make a video saying counterfeits are you know terrible because I don't want to judge, you know, there's a ton of you guys who uh, I don't know your financial situation. I don't know if you're in call. I don't, I can't make a decision. I cannot make that decision for you. And a lot of people say, oh, of course you can. It's your opinion. But at the same time, I need to, I want us and I want the YouTube community to grow. I want us to be united. I want us to grow because at the end of the day, we're not competing against each other. No, 
we're competing against articles, podcasts, all that type of stuff because if someone goes on YouTube, they can subscribe to multiple channels. They don't need, I mean, if you subscribe to my channel, it does not mean that you can't subscribe to another Magic YouTuber channel. And in fact, a lot of times, and I have to do a, I have to do a better job at doing this. And this, I, I don't know, this is something I've always wanted to do, but I have to showcase who the newer YouTubers really make an effort in this community. That's something that you know I will be very, I'm embarrassed that I haven't done more of, to be honest with you, because that's, you know, that's something that's very important to me. So I need to take, I need to do a better job on this channel, uh, just for the fact that I have now realized I can have a positive impact in the community and how we treat each other, but I can't, but there's some biases I currently have with magic, um, and you guys probably know what they are which are very negative and I need to change the negative so longer videos better thumbnails and the change in the way I I'll still have those biases but I won't judge other magic players based on that bias I'll put my opinion out there but I'll do so in a newsy way as opposed to like opinionated piece which I've done in the past uh, which has isolated and pretty much offended some of I mean if you guys have watched the new law student channel there's a reason that channel that would channel would never get past 2500 subscribers I guarantee it to you there's a reason you know 10,000 is a great number but 6,000 was a number I actually wanted to get to because that was the number of followers um, a particular MT the most famous MTG financier had at that time and I was like wow if I could get to six he had like 5,000 some like some number and I said to myself I can get to 6,000 that would be that would be insane and you know here I am at 10,000 and I don't I could not have gotten here doing just MTG finance I cannot have gotten here acting like a douchebag I could not have gotten here without the community support and without my subscriber support uh, but for me to make the next level and to positively impact the community as much as I, poss as I can, I need to change even more. So the change is not bad, it's good. Because, you know, it's kind of like when I look at my older videos on my new law student channel, that channel, there's no way I would ever hit 10,000 subscribers. Just no way it would have done that. Um, this channel has... But for us, for me to impact um, positively the community, I need to change even more. And you know, when you look at the channels who are, you know, five-figure channels, they are, they have a different style. I'm not going to change my style. But I will learn from the stuff that they are doing so well and incorporate that in my channel. But I'm my baby lion, so I guess you are baby lions for just a tiny bit longer, then we'll call you something else. Bye. <laughs>